I am going to make Belle my wife! <laughs> If there's two things I love most about the holidays, it's cinnamon and hot spiced wine. I wanted to come up with a dessert that would combine them. And because I'm literally so excited for the live action Beauty and the Beast movie coming out in a few months, I decided to give this dessert a twist worthy of my favorite princess. So today we're going to be making enchanted rose tarts. Basically pastry tarts with cinnamon roll glaze filling brushed with a spiced red wine reduction. Sounds fancy, right? It should. I'm a princess. There is so much dust in here. That's gross. Someone should clean, Cinderella. Snow White. Calling you out. <laughs> like with all my recipes, this one will be paleo and gluten free. Obviously, if you have zero food allergies, you can substitute these ingredients for whatever you'd like. But I've designed this recipe so pretty much everyone can enjoy it. Heads up, if you have not allergies, just substitute the almond flour for your flour of choice. Also, if you can eat pre-made pie crust, you can totally just use that instead of going through the hassle of making your own. With that being said, let's get started. For your pastry dough, you'll need two cups of almond flour, a half cup of melted coconut oil, two tablespoons of chilled full fat coconut milk, and two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. This pastry dough is super simple, even a beast could make it. With a rubber spatula, mix all your ingredients until they're just combined. Be careful not to overmix them. While it's chilling in the fridge, let's whip up the cinnamon roll filling. For the cinnamon glaze, you'll need a quarter cup and two tablespoons of coconut sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, or more if you're a cinnamon addict like me, a pinch of salt, and one eighth cup of coconut oil. Again, this glaze is very easy to make. Mix all your ingredients together in a small bowl, then heat the mixture in the microwave or on the stovetop until the coconut oil has melted. Stir it well with a spoon until it's evenly combined. While the glaze is cooling and you're preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to trim our pastry dough. Roll out your pastry dough on a well-floured surface until it's about a quarter inch thick. Then slice it into strips that are three inches wide. On one side, trace out a row of half circles. You can use a glass, a tablespoon, or cookie cutter as a guide, tracing it with a knife. Tear away the excess dough, then repeat on the other side. However, make sure these circles are slightly off-center the ones on the opposite edge. Now take your cinnamon glaze and brush it onto the pastry strips. Then fold it in half, making sure the circles are off-center rather than matching up exactly. Work slowly. After it's folded, brush another bit of glaze along the lower half of the dough. This is the trickiest part of the recipe. Working slowly and carefully, start at one end and roll the pastry crust up. As you roll, use your finger to pull down the tip of each petal. If it gets a little messy, feel free to reshape it as you go. Once you finish a rosebud, place it into a lightly greased muffin tin so it retains its shape as you work on the others. After you've finished shaping all your rosebuds, place them in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them and take them out once the edges are slightly golden brown. While that's happening, let's make the spiced wine reduction caramel sauce. For this sauce, you'll need two cups of Cabernet Sauvignon, or another red wine of choice, one cup of coconut sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and a pinch of ground cloves. It goes without saying, but if you are under the legal drinking age, please consult a parent or guardian who is above the legal drinking age for this portion of the recipe. Or choose to make a non-alcoholic frosting or glaze of your choice. Again, this is one of those things that sounds super complicated and fancy, but it's actually really simple. Whisk your ingredients together in a saucepan, then bring them to a boil over medium heat. Keep whisking until your sugar has completely dissolved, then reduce the heat and cook your mixture until it has the consistency of syrup. Remove your sauce from the heat, then using a brush, evenly coat the tops of your rosebuds or drizzle them. It's up to you. Feel free to dust them with more sugar or cinnamon as desired. And there you have it! These enchanted rose tarts are sure to be a treat with all of your holiday party guests. If you give this recipe a try, please post a photo of it and let me know how they turned out. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Casa Appetit, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more cosplay videos. I'm Mingus Irene, and as always, Happy cosplay and happy holiday. Come on, eat one of these now. Be our guest, be our guest. Oh my god. That's my reaction to everything I make, but seriously, with the reduction on here, it makes it part. Mm. Forget the gray stuff, this is delicious. <laughs>